Hello guys, so now we're going to pick up right where we left off. You might notice that, hey, this isn't the same color, because it was this color, but now it's this color. This is actually a flat red, and honestly, you probably want to start with painting this. Here is the color, flat red. It is a primer, so if you can, start painting it with this. And yeah, so the next thing we're going to do is start masking off where the camouflage will be. So let's hop into that. Oh my gosh, wow, new setup. Okay, so now we just need to mark off where the brown will be. And the great thing we're going to use for that is this. Silly buddy. And you can get this little Hobby Lobby. You can get this at Hobby Lobby for like a dollar. So yeah, let's start that. Alright, so now all this is masked up and it's ready for the next coat. And we're gonna use dark yellow. I'm just gonna spray this all in dark yellow. So we'll be right back. And there we go, now it's all painted. So now all we have to do is peel it off. And how you like them apples? Pretty cool, huh? Well, now we're just gonna hand paint the green. And the green we're going to use is this. Tomato green. After four coats later, there we go. And it's not 100% perfect, but that's okay. Because we're going to be going over all the colors to weather them up. Make them look streaky. But yeah. That's it so far. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add some streaking on each of the colors. So basically, I'm going to use this for the tan because it's a higher... It's just a little bit lighter for some streaking. And I'm gonna mix this with the green and the brown. I'm going to mix this with, you're gonna think I'm crazy, just a generic brown. So, yeah, for each one. So I'm gonna start off just with the tan. And when doing this, you want it um, not too watery, but a little watery and you don't really want a lot on your brush. And you're just lightly going 
over it. Make sure not to jump over, because if you do, they'll stick out way too much. We need to go for each one. Yeah. Just going lightly over it. Don't be afraid to touch it. I'm just trying to blend it in. But yeah, that's basically the idea. As you can see, there's a big difference. See how this is lighter? It looks a bit more weathered out than the original color. And when you move to the top, it's literally, it's, I'm basically kind of doing dry brushing, but not at the same time. You want to stipple it. Just like that. No, not really streaking because nothing would streak up here. But that's the general idea. As you can see, all of the tan is done. See the big difference? That's brighter and this is darker for the chassis. You can really tell when I put the turret right here. It's a lot lighter. But yeah, so I'm just gonna continue the process and I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the green and brown. And there we go. All the tan is done. Now we're gonna move on to the brown and I'm just gonna mix the same color like I did Mix that color with the brown like I showed you, and I'm just going to repeat the process and with the green as well. So, we'll cut right back when I'm done with that. And there you go. So now the paint work looks a little bit more weathered. And yeah. So next thing I'm going to do is just pick out the tools. That's easy enough. And the two colors I used for the handle, I used desert yellow and I used a Warhammer paint for the metallic and it's called Iron Warriors. And yeah, now I'm gonna pick out the dents in the armor and I'm going to use Fire extinguisher gray, just mix up a gray. So that's it for here. And the next thing to do is to give it a wash in all the little crevices. And what I'm going to use is this. And you'll see in the video, as I'm going, I make sure to wipe it off and wipe it down in a downward motion to make it look like as if it's streaking.
also while you're doing the little washing and all the crevices don't be afraid to put some streaks on there because this, this paint's really made for streaks i'm just using it for different means but it's super easy just add in get a very fine tip brush add in just a little bit and drag it down and you'll end up with some really nice streaks all over the tank so yeah just continue doing that kaboom all right so now that's all done don't be too worried about those that's all gonna get covered up but yeah i think it looks pretty good so now the next thing i'm gonna do is just put on the decal and i'm just gonna just put on a simple number decal and that's pretty self-explanatory if you've ever put decals on before it's really easy you just dip them in water and then slide them over so i'm gonna do that Now that the decal's on, I'm going to give it a matte clear coat, and I'm going to use this. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty straightforward, and you get a pretty good result at the end. Um, please tune in next week. I will show you the chipping and weathering. So we'll start adding mud and grease and grind to make it look like it's really been in a battlefield. But other than that... Please like and subscribe only if you want to. I do really enjoy making these videos. I love every single one of y'all that actually watch this video. So I'm just happy that people are actually watching them. I don't really necessarily care if you subscribe, but if you do, I'm very thankful for it. But other than that, enjoy this little montage.